In an earlier lesson, we learned how to grab a tempo map from a piece of audio that was not recorded to a click. In this example, we're going to do something slightly different to tighten up a performance. We're going to get the tempo, the average tempo, for this piece of music, and then we're going to align the audio to it. So this works great if you want to keep a steady beat. Uh, you don't want the tempo to fluctuate, and instead of mapping the tempo to your audio, you want the audio to lock to a tempo. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I asked some high school kids to record a drum and bass demo here. Uh, actually, it wasn't high school kids. It was me. But in any case, it's a really sloppy performance. Here's what it sounds like. You get the idea. The drums are speeding up and slowing down. The bass isn't locked in with the drums. Horrible. I'm going to find a tempo and I'm going to make sure that everything locks to that tempo and it'll be a fantastic performance in a second or maybe a couple minutes. First thing we always do with Beat Detective is make sure that that first beat lines up on a bar. And as you can see, the first beat here is nowhere close to that bar. So we need to do that. So I'm going to group everything together by clicking on my all group. And then I'm going to click at the beginning of the file and I have tab to transient active. You can see that up here. And I'll just hit the tab key and go directly to that first transient. And I'll press my A key, my command focus A, which lops off the beginning and makes this start right here. I'll go into shuffle mode and drag it to the left. Okay, so now I have the left side lining up right at the start. Let's make sure the right side lines up correctly. And if we go over to the right, you'll see that this is an eight bar loop. Let's see how it ends. Okay, well there's some space there and if I keep that on, it's gonna confuse Beat Detective. I'm gonna get my best results by making the eight bar loop as clear as possible and then let Beat Detective do the work. So let's find out where that is gonna be. Well, it's somewhere over here, but I don't know exactly where I should lop off the end. I'm gonna show you a little trick. In Pro Tools, when you press the down arrow key while music is playing back, it will move the cursor, the playback cursor. Watch. I'll press it now. I'll press it now. And now. So that's a great trick if you're listening to audio and you wanna mark a certain place or you wanna start from a certain place next time through, you can just press the down arrow and the playback cursor will start there from the next time. So I want to hit the playback cursor where bar nine would start. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna listen back by, from about here. Two, three, four, and press. Okay, so that is exactly where bar nine would be if I had a bar nine. So by lopping this off, pressing S, command focus, I now have what I think is an eight bar loop. And so when I give this to Beat Detective, it's gonna be able to do its processing a lot better. It won't get confused by that little space at the end or the space we had at the beginning. So in the next lesson, we'll pull up Beat Detective.